Well, for more on what to look out for in the entertainment industry this year, I'm joined by music expert Alan Cross. Welcome to the show. Glad to be here. So let's start with the movie industry. Tell us about some of the biggest success stories at the box office over the past year and how they got it right. Well, I don't know if there are that many great successes. If you look at the way Hollywood is trending year over year in terms of box office revenue, it's down substantially. Even the current Star Wars movie is running behind the previous Star Wars movie. So there was a certain amount of panic in Hollywood. Where are the blockbusters? Where are the big money uh, films these days? So there, there is a, a quite a bit of concern. Now, we have had some successes, and we're going to see a lot uh, this coming weekend with the Golden Globes and then a little bit later on with the Academy Awards. But this has not been a good year for Hollywood. The biggest thing that we have seen is the latest Star Wars film. Now, it was certainly a better year for China. We know that last year, China bounced back from declines in 2016 thanks to the release of Wolf Warrior 2, and that helped the box office reach about $8.5 billion. So what's your outlook for China's movie industry? That's going to be rather interesting. Uh, Hollywood is shifting away from having blockbusters only in the summer. They are now going with blockbusters year-round, and most of those blockbusters tend to be action films that travel very well globally. They could be, you know, big blow-up movies. They can be superhero movies. Uh, I think you're going to see more of those come in from North America because they do play well internationally. And Hollywood really is depending more and more on international box office rather than domestic. Now, entertainment is obviously a huge umbrella. It includes music, gaming, streaming, books, etc. So which industries do you think are going to dominate the coming year? I think we're going to be talking an awful lot about music streaming. And here is someplace, an area that China has got it right. Uh, with Tencent and QQ Music and uh, the current uh, deal that they just uh, swung with Spotify, where they had a swap of equity, it is, it's turning out to be a, a really, really big deal. Uh, China has figured out how to get hundreds of millions of people to pay for streaming music. And that is something that here in the West we're still struggling with. I mean, Spotify just announced today that they have 70 million streaming, uh, paying streaming music customers. But that, that, that's dwarfed by what uh, Tencent is doing. And obviously, we already saw the major deal between Disney and 21st Century Fox. So what are some other major deals and perhaps the trends we should be keeping an eye on in entertainment for 2018? I think we should watch and see what Apple's going to do. Uh, they have an awful lot of money in the bank, and they could go out and buy just about anything they wanted to. I heard uh, a couple of people talking about Apple perhaps buying Netflix. Uh, Netflix is, is becoming this giant juggernaut where th there's, there's just so much great content on, on Netflix right now that they're going to become far too expensive for anybody to actually purchase. So you could see Apple, you could see Amazon, you could see you know, any of the uh, Google Alphabet, they could maybe do a merger and acquisition there. Um, but we also have to watch, like your report said earlier, we have to watch and see what Disney and Fox are going to do. That is going to be a major, major power when it comes to being able to stream stuff, not only with the movies that Fox has, but all the, 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 you know, the great Disney content for kids and families. So the big, uh, the, the big players are going to get bigger, and it's just a matter of time to see exactly which of the slightly smaller players may get gobbled up on the whole thing. And speaking of big players, let's also look at the fallout that snowballed from the Harvey Weinstein sexual assault allegations and how that ended up being a broader conversation about the treatment of women in the industry and, of course, the Me Too movement. How might that affect the industry going forward? We don't know yet. Uh, I, I think we took a bit of a pause over the Christmas holidays, but now it's starting to uh, come back full force. Uh, there was just a story today about Paul Haggis, uh, the writer and, and director. Uh, he has been accused of something. Of course, we've got the Golden Globes coming up on Sunday in Los Angeles. Uh, we'll see all the women wearing black. Uh, they're, you know, how are we going to handle that? Th this will be the first awards program uh, to be broadcast, to be held since the Me Too scandals have broken. So I think we're, we're still trying to figure out where the tone is going to be set, but it's, it's not it's, it's not over. Uh, there are other areas of the entertainment industry that really need to be investigated, one of them being the music industry, which has been abusing its power for quite some time. So it's, uh, 2018 is going to be a very interesting year for this. And so to your point then, in terms of the potential repercussions, be they economic or, or strategy-wise, as actors, musicians, companies now have to consider the sensitive social climate in their decision-making. 
Well, they do. And, and the problem is that there is a wide spectrum of what we would call sexual abuse. It could be as innocent as, you know, putting your hand on somebody's knee during a TV interview, which would be considered appropriate and people would complain about it, all the way to, to uh, rape and, and, and violent acts. So we're trying to figure out exactly, I think, a lot of people are trying to figure out exactly what the appropriate punishment is for this inappropriate behavior. Uh, how do we, you know, I mean, please, by all means, go after the, the bad people. But at the same time, there's a certain amount of fear as to who's going to be next and what they're going to be accused of. And some of these accusations are, are, are very vague. They're anonymous. Uh, so, so a lot of people are, are terrified. You know, uh, you going to be next, or is that person going to be next? So uh, we, we need to understand exactly where the pendulum is going to swing in, in 2018. Again, by all means, go after the bad guys. Get them out of there. But, you know, let's also be very careful about what exactly you mean when you talk about inappropriate behavior. All right. Well, thank you so much for your insights. Music expert there, Alan Cross.